And then BC does have the adjustable dampening on the top. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another John Drives video. Today I'm going to go ahead and put some BC Racing coilovers on my Drift Car 240SX. If you're new to the channel, this is my S14. I'm currently building for a Pro-Am series and I need some coilovers and they finally came in. Super excited to get these on and I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. My setup might be slightly different because I do have wise fab in the front and rear. However, I believe it all like bolts up just fine so we should be good to go on that. Here are the BCs. I already was taking a peek at them. These are custom built for my setup by BC, so should be should be a good install. Let's get to it. First off, you're gonna get your car up in the air, take your wheel and tire off. I am rebuilding this whole car, so this whole car's been kind of torn apart. That's why everything kind of looks how it does. So to take off the old stock junky kind of setup they got going on, you probably might wanna put a jack underneath it to relieve some of the tension. I did already take this out, so this is kind of a hand tight setup right now. There are three 14 nuts on the top. You wanna take those off let it down slowly, and then there are just two bolts going through the shock, one here and one here. Should come right out, I believe that's it. You'll wanna disconnect your brake lines and uh, ABS if you still have that. This is a 17, and this is a three quarter wrench. Put the wrench on there, bust off the 17, and the shock should fall right out. Now you want to find the front, this is FR front right, since we are working on the passenger side currently, you're going to pretty much repeat the process, it's super simple, it does come with new hardware on the top which is nice, so you're going to take those off, feed it in the top, put the top three nuts on, and you're going to slide it over this little part right here, and put those two bolts back in. Alrighty, once you got those bolts back in, you can go ahead and reconnect your brake line right here, and I believe you're good on the front. So like I said, super simple, it didn't take me long at all, it does help with an impact and stuff. Probably the hardest part is just to get off the old uh, the old OEM junk, but let's go ahead and move to the back. Alright, once you have the rear tire removed, you might want to go ahead and place your fuller jack underneath your rear knuckle. I do have Y-Sub in the rear, and mine came with aftermarket crappy coilovers in the rear. It is only one bolt here at the bottom, so once you have your floor jack on, you can go ahead and remove this bottom one, and in those two bolts in there on top of the coilover, you will probably have to remove your top shelf or whatever they got going here on a stock car. Once you do that, the coilover should come right out. Now installing the new BC Racing coilovers, I went ahead and put the two top nuts in first. Help of a friend definitely helps, so you can go ahead and stick it up and then the other person can screw on the top nuts. In the bottom here, I'm gonna go ahead and get my floor jack, jack up the lower knuckle where it lines up perfectly, and I'm gonna go ahead and slide my bolt through, and we should be good to go. Already got the rear coilovers all installed, and the fronts, I still have a lot of work to do on the car before I button everything up completely, but they do include spanner wrenches to adjust it. Now, I'm not a suspension expert by any means, but I believe to lower or raise your ride height, you do unjam this nut here, unbolt the two bolts this is the front the back is obviously a little different but pretty much the same and unscrew this bottom section here or screw it up to uh lower your car essentially this right here is like i think how stiff it is obviously the more compressed the spring the tighter your ride and you can droop it out and then bc does have the adjustable dampening on the top but this was just a quick little overview on how i did my bc racing coilover install so hopefully it helped you out if it did make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching guys catch you guys in the next one